around a new week. Oh boy, new things in store. That's always what I'm hoping for. Ah, there you guys are. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today with another reaction video and another new week of stand up comedy, man. You know, I always love the things that I love, but I also love getting into the new stuff. So, you know, <sighs> yes, more new stuff to come. And another new time, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna make this a normal thing. It's kind of late today, you know. Uh, you know, yesterday for Random Sunday, I had a couple of videos come out later than usual, but I'm gonna try to make that a normal thing. Some days might be early, some might be late. Just uh, don't, let, don't think there's anything crazy going on or nothing like that. You know, plus I wanted to get off, uh, start a little later today because, you know, we had an electrician come over. We got some house issues right now. So, hey, give me a little bit of time to breathe and uh, get ready for an evening day, you know? An evening day, an evening day, a day in the evening. Yeah, whatever, it's nighttime. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're going to get into some more Josh Blue today. All right. Well, you know, uh, the last video of him that I watched, you know, he was talking about, you know, the... The Walking Dead or something like that, you know, I don't remember exactly, but he has a uh, cerebral palsy, and he's a very funny dude, man, you know, it's not like he's some, you know, publicity stunt or nothing like that, man, the guy actually has legitimate jokes, man, and uh, he's just a really funny dude in general, so yeah, we're gonna get into a clip from him today entitled Popsicles, <laughs> okay, it's a short clip, so I don't really know exactly what a popsicle got anything to do with something, but we're gonna figure it out. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get into it. This video was suggested to me by one of my very loyal subscribers. And uh, thank you very much for suggesting it to me. And let me make sure that although this is a very easy name, I get the wording correctly on it when I get it right. Okay, here it is. Socially Acceptable Blanket. Very catchy name. I don't know what it means, but I'm pretty sure you'll let me know once you uh, realize that I watched this video today. But yeah, thank you very much for requesting this uh, clip to me. And uh, I really appreciate it. And we're going to get into it, like I said. So uh, one more time, Josh Blue with Popsicles. I goodness, can't wait to see what this is about. <laughs> and if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. Well, uh, before I get into this, like I said, I got a couple more things coming up, you know, I'm actually working on getting the microphone working up in here, make the sound a little better, so at least I don't got people talking trash about my sound and all that. Working on it, you know, it uh, should be up and going probably within the next couple of weeks. We'll see how it goes. Maybe sooner, I don't know. But yeah, man, enough of the talking. Let's get to it. Josh Blue with Popsicles, right here on NDB TV. Another new week of stand-up comedy. Thank you one more time, socially acceptable blanket. Very much appreciate it. Now let's have some fun and get our laugh on. All right, let's get situated with this one. Here we go. So I took my son to the 7-Eleven to get him a popsicle. And I got one too. Because they're fucking delicious. Yeah. yeah. And we had extra change from the walkover. <laughs> out of the 7-Eleven, there was this, like, a uh, gangster. Yeah, and I'm talking a thug, not a mafia. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this dude was just, like, leaning up against the 7-Eleven, just looking pretty mean. He looked like someone that you wouldn't really want to talk to. So yeah. that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk right up to her and go, could you open my popsicle? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> I took him right out of his comfort zone. Okay. Okay. I did that. <laughs> he did it, though. He did it. And I can assure you, it's hard to look hard when you're opening a popsicle. What? <laughs> That's right, palsy, breaking down barriers. That's what it is. I feel you, Josh. Putting up new ones. <laughs> oh. 
I know, I just feel lucky, you know. The world gave me lemonade and I drank that shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, off the table, because I spilled it. But. Oh my God. You guys ever heard that saying, laughter is the best medicine? That's some bullshit, huh? What? Like, shouldn't I be better by now? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Where you come up with that? Yeah, laugh and clap all you want. You ain't doing shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That's the end of that one. Oh, my goodness, man. You, you know what? Just like I said in the beginning, man, he ain't no publicity stuff, man. This dude knows how to write a joke. He knows how to make it funny, man. I swear he do. I swear he do, man. I'm not even hating on him at all, man. He's got some game. But yeah, man, that was a Josh Blue, y'all, one more time with Popsicles. Well, <laughs> first of all, I will say Popsicles are definitely delicious, man. I ain't gonna dispute that at all, man. No hard stance I can take other than I approve <laughs> of Popsicles. But, uh, you know, I guess uh, part of my craziness that people say that I have so much, you know, is that I put myself in situations that otherwise should end poorly. Like poorly as far as someone getting hurt, maybe the cops getting called, somebody getting clowned on, whatever. I always do that to myself because I'm just comfortable being myself these days, you know? And uh, what he said to, hold, to start this whole thing out, he's like, he saw somebody just leaning up, looking all mean, like he missed a get bad or something like that. And then he just go, you know what? I'm this kind of guy, so hey, I don't mean this kind of guy like uh, his um, condition or nothing like that. I'm the kind of guy who likes to, you know, walk over lines is what I'm saying. But uh, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go walk up to this guy and ask this dude if he could open my popsicle. <laughs> because you know what? I'm gonna say this, man. I know I've known a lot of dudes in my life who have that mean demeanor on their face, you know what I mean? Like big dudes too. But even if, even if any of them had somebody with cere uh, cerebral palsy come up to them asking to open their popsicle, man, they would be frozen stiff. They, how do you act like you thugged out by that? You know what I mean? And besides, what are you going to say to the man? No, get the hell away from me. You know what, you know what I'm saying? It, it puts all the pressure on the thug. You know what I'm saying? It puts all the pressure on him. And, you know, yeah, I've, I've done things like that before, you know. A lot worse though, with more confrontation behind it, you know, but I'll save that for another story, another time. But uh, yeah, that was really funny, man. And not only that, man, uh, that, that ending line when he said, laughter is the best medicine, I personally believe that. And when he said, oh, that's a lot of bullshit, I was like, oh no, how you gonna, how you gonna down talk this? And then he just gave me that, that hard left and just made it funny as hell, you know, because he's not a, not an idiot. Smart dude, no? Knows how to tell a joke. Knows how to make it funny. That's where you get my salutes from me. You know what I mean? That's what I that's what I do. I laugh at funny jokes, man. And this dude really killed it with that one. And even at the end, you know what? I'm just like, okay, he got me with the joke. Ah, I clap and laugh. Y'all ain't doing nothing. I'm like, now Josh, why'd you have to go there, man? Here I am laughing at your funny jokes, and they just gonna cut me right in the heart, make me feel stupid and insignificant. <sighs> well played, my man. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there. That was a real funny-ass funny, uh, funny -ass clip, man. So one more time, thank you, Miss Socially Acceptable Blanket, uh, for uh, requesting this clip to me, man. I, I, I already love the first one because, you know, he's, he, he knows how to, you know, I, I don't know what the struggles are with uh, cerebral palsy. I don't know anything about it other than it's like, you know, it makes you, like, lose control of some of your limbs for what reason. I don't know, so don't hold me to anything, but he knows how to use his condition, not only to his advantage professionally doing stand-up comedy, man, but he, he really knows how to, you know, not as much make light of a situation, but he knows how to make happiness with it. He knows how to make fun with it, not of it, you know what I mean? And I don't know if there's really much of a difference, but, you know, that's that's how I see it anyway. So, yeah, man, um, big ups to you, Josh Blue, man. I hope your career keeps going on and going on for as long as humanly possible, man, because I'm gonna keep tuning in. So yeah, one more time, man. Josh Blue with Popsicles. And if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going, like I always say. 
So yeah, man, um, another good start to the stand-up week, man. You know, sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, man, I'm pretty sure some people in the comments might think that, oh, he's just laughing, not everything is funny. Well, you can tell when something's not funny because I'm trying to keep my smile on, but I ain't saying or, you know, acting any kind of way. You know, some things just kind of like, Ugh, I didn't feel that way at all, man. But I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, motherfucking stupid, stupid. You know, I'm not gonna do all that. Just not me, you know what I mean? Well, at least not in public, you know, I do that in private, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's going to be Eddie BTV signing off one more again here. Um, another week of stand-up comedy getting started, man. I think it's a good way to start it out, you know. It's kind of a short clip, you know, but I didn't mind that. Um, I love how this guy tells jokes, man. He's really good at what he do. And uh, whether he talks about his condition or any other thing, doesn't really matter at all. He's still a funny dude, and I'm sure that he can be flexible like that. I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid talking about because it's such an obvious looking condition, you know? And that's not a slight on him, it's just what is. But uh, he knows how to tell jokes, man. And that's why he's at the level that he's at, man. I hope he keeps going higher and higher and higher. So yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in uh, one more time with this one. I hope y'all had some fun. Thank you one more time and Socially Acceptable Blanket. Very much appreciate it. Love and appreciate y'all. Peace.